Good morning! Welcome to Saturday. I'm in pursuit of a red Ferrari, and it is actually a Ferrari 328, I believe. It's ahead of those two Volkswagen, ahead of those two Volkswagen Passats up there. So I'm gonna go see if I can find that, and that'd be a great start to a Friday or Saturday. Good morning and welcome. See it up there? I, I've seen this car up close before, but I don't know, it'd be cool to see. And uh, unfortunately, we have a double yellow and I'm already doing 40. So, yeah, we'll see what I can do. Hey, there he is. So we'll see what this thing is. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's a, it's a 308 GTS. Oh, listen. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, check this out. We got a Can-Am over here. That thing is freaking awesome. Be a lot of fun, but I don't think I'd buy one. Just coming back from the pool, it's three o'clock. Uh, the water's still freezing because the heater's out, but other than that, it was nice. I was in for maybe six minutes, and otherwise I sat there in the sun and got really hot because it is, let me negotiate this turn, it is 91 degrees. There's an E53. So, uh, let's see, what else we got here? We got a Z3. Uh, the BMW Z3, the other BMW Z3. Uh, Probably has been. At dinner, uh, Viper. What's the Lamborghini? I can't really see it. Orange Giardo Spider. Hi. Well, that's worse sounding than the 430, which you know that I hate, but it's some weird wheels on it. Viper's going that way. Looks like a uh, late 90s Viper and a Giardo. Uh, not bad. It isn't red and it's not from uh, Modino. Yeah, we cleaned up real fine. There they are. Welcome to Legacy. Hi, back from Legacy Village. That was really good. We went up there and had dinner at California Pizza Kitchen again with uh, Ken and his family. Uh, I'm now home, picking up headphones to plug into my iPhone to listen to music on my bike ride downtown on this beautiful Hudson evening. In the comments, leave me which car you'd rather have. Uh, most of you probably think I'd rather have that, but it's a Z3, so I will take the 911 Turbo. But both of which are very cool. This is not from here, it's from Geauga County. Not too far. But we've got E46 M3 wheels on it. It's a, a 5 speed, I would guess. Uh, yep, 5 speed M shifter. Hand quick tires. Not bad at all. It'll be a fun little car in red. I'm not wild on the red top, and it should not be up on a night like this because it's beautiful. And we got the 911 Turbo 325 <laughs> with a manual. That's an inside joke between Ken and I, by the way. It's gray. We've got, uh, I don't know what those are, Potenzas, Bridgestone Potenzas up there. And uh, Ken and I would take the 911. But we're gonna go look at that blue thing now. That is how a woman parks a car. Nice. To triumph. Very nice. That would be fun. It would be a lot of fun. I don't know if you'd fit in there, Kenan. Wire wheels. This thing uh, gets to 60 in about 2.5 seconds, right, Kenan? I'm gonna stand no, in your just way. Slow, right? Yeah. I mean, if it's too slow to 60, then just don't count as fast, dumbass. Oh, there it is. I rode in that in uh, Silver Lake for the Silver Lake Festival. Kenan, would you ride in that? It'd, come on, that'd be a lot of fun. She just did that. For freak's sake. Yeah, the BMW T3. Tuned by uh, Dinan, actually. Of course, we've got a manual, very nice M wheels, tinted windows. It looks like it could be lowered a little bit. Not an M3 bumper, I don't think. It looks like the 335 IS bumper. Got a Ducati sticker. Ducati sticker, it's very nice, so I like what I see. I won't trade them, but I like what I see. Oh, check it out, here's a real one. E92 M3. Fortunately, with the top up, that thing sounded good when you downshifted it, so. Oh, that sounds sinister. Yeah, that's what I said, why the hell is the top up on this thing? That's gorgeous. Come on, punch on it. Give it a shot, wide. It is now 1 o'clock in the morning. Welcome. It is the 26th day of August 2012. Uh, not starting a new vlog yet. Can you even see me? Maybe now you can. I think I still have pool hair. I saw that in the car. That was really bad. Also correcting another mistake I made earlier today. I said that there were two Volkswagen Passats in front of me. You've likely already commented telling me that that is clearly a CC and not a Passat. 
usually I'm used to looking at A4s, which I equate to Passats, so uh, I called it a Passat, but it's a, it's a uh, CC. Uh, after biking, we went home, we laid out on the deck at Kenan's house for a little bit. We came here, and you can't see because it's dark out here, and I would turn that light on, but it's unplugged because of the Mac can plug in. Uh, but there's a big old bowl of popcorn over there that we polished off, and that was very good. And I have been uploading videos from Andrew. On Andrew's channel, the guy that was here last Sunday with his X5 on his way to college, he has that black 2000 M5 on E39 source. Um, he had five or six videos on his channel that I had not yet downloaded and fine-tuned in terms of editing, and then uploaded to E39 source. So for the past three days, I've been doing that. I downloaded all the files one day and, and edited them together another day, and then I've been uploading them. I have four. I don't want to upload all four in one day, so over the next four days, there's going to be files. Uh, today is day number three in the uploading process. It's the South Jersey SCCA, Sports Car Club of America. Uh, he took his M5 to that maybe two, three weeks ago, and I'm getting that video up now. It'll, it'll be up in two minutes. By the time you see this, it will long be up. So check out youtube.com slash E39 source to see those videos. There's one more that's going to go up tomorrow, today, actually Sunday, and it is the storage video when he stores his car permanently for two, three months while he's gone for college. Uh, so that was interesting. Those are all edited, and they will be up soon. Be sure to check those out. Emails are successfully down to two, so that's not something I'm going to have to worry about tonight. Uploads uh, one minute left, as I just showed you. And the Watch Later playlist on Ubuntu, I mean YouTube, is down to four. Not bad at all. So I think that all of that will get done tonight, which puts me ahead of the game. Uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about. This vlog might get a little winded, so uh, I'm going to turn on a light so we can see, and we'll talk about the uh, thing yesterday. I was going to talk about it last night, but I was too tired. I didn't film an end clip. Um, the lawsuit, Samsung versus Apple. Apple won that lawsuit in the eyes of the court, and were, uh, Apple was awarded a billion dollars in damages from Samsung. And I wanted to throw my two cents in on this. No, I, I'm not going to say that I have done a lot of research, because I haven't, but I did read the two statements that each company released yesterday, or the statement per company that were released yesterday, uh, and I agree wholeheartedly with both of them. Legally, in the eyes of the court, uh, what Samsung did was wrong. They broke patent right, patent laws, almost said copyright. They did break the laws, so yes, they should have to pay the damages. However, I agree with Samsung's statement that it is somewhat of not as much of a win for Apple as a loss for the consumer. There's now less choices, prices will go up. But you know what? Samsung needs to innovate in their own ways. They can't go and take uh, technology developed and patented by other companies and take it and put their name on it and sell it. And for the last couple years now, we've seen Samsung products that look exactly like Apple products. And that's, that's not even right. That would be like... I don't even know, but it's, it's not cool. It sucks that Samsung has to pay a billion bucks and, and very likely can't uh, produce those products anymore. Um, I, I feel what was done was a bit of justice, but I don't know. Leave, leave your comments on that below. What do you think should have happened? Do you agree or disagree with uh, Apple's win in the eyes of the court? Another thing was college. I've been getting a lot of questions in, uh, or a lot of comments in the vlogs about what am I studying and stuff. And over in the United States, it's different. We don't have to declare, technically we do have to declare a major. I chose uh, aviation management or airport management or something. I think it's aviation management, which is interesting to me. However, somebody uh, pointed out yesterday that um, maybe engineering, design, architecture, something like that. And I have always loved architecture for... Um, I remember sitting in third grade and I was so bored by the crap we were doing, I would sit down and draw a house. And I actually have all those upstairs, and I should show you guys sometime. But I have a whole booklet of stuff I used to draw, and, and they got progressively better over the years, and now I play a little bit with CAD and SketchUp. Um, so I don't really know what I want to do yet. My goal is for the next two years, I know I'm going to camp for at least two years, possibly four. Um, so for the next two years, I'm going to get my basic prerequisite um, credits out of the way. They're all transferable out of state, different colleges in state, whatever I want to do. I'm going to try to leave my options open. So we'll get the basics and the requirements done first, figure out what I want to do, and then focus on that. So that's my plan. I uh, could be here for two years. I could be here for four. I don't know yet. We'll find out later. The third thing. Uh, how long am I going to keep vlogging? I got that question. Somebody said, honestly, how long are you going to keep vlogging? It would be cool if you could make it through all four years of college. And right now, my answer, I have no idea. 
I have absolutely no idea. Now I'll tell you that I'm not going to stop any time in the immediate future because it really isn't that much of a burden for me. My problem is remembering to film clips and find interesting things to do to, to make clips. And really the answer I'm going to give you right now is as long as you watch them, I'll make them. If it gets to a point where nobody watches, nobody comments anymore, and I can tell that people just don't care, then that's fine. Why would I expect you to sit down and watch 3 to 15 minutes of my in some people's eyes, very boring life every day. Uh, that's not at all something that you should want or have to do. But if you do and you enjoy it and you like watching them, then I'll keep making them because the hardest part, as I said, is just filming them. Editing takes 10 minutes, exporting takes the time of the video, and uploading takes about the time of the video. If it's a 10 minute video, it'll go up in 10 minutes. Maybe a little bit more than that, but not bad. So, uh, yeah, they'll be coming for a while. Today's day 622, I think. I'd look for four figures. Having said that, I do reserve the right to cancel this at any time, like any news network. All right, then, before I talk your ear off for another five minutes, I'm going to wrap this up. It's uh, probably five or ten after one now. I'm going to get that upload. It's probably already done. So I'm going to finish this up, get those videos done. Tomorrow's Sunday. Sleep in a little bit, do some shopping, go to the pool, go to dinner, go biking. That should be Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you are, too. Talk to you in the morning. Good night.